Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Wow, this game is awesome. This is the fifth main entry in the series, which goes all the way back till 1999. So, during in 2018, when the game was announced, they had some type of cool things. They had during the time they brought back all the characters from from the original till to five. Though, however, during when the game During when the game was still in development, Masahiro Sakurai, the creator of the game, decided to add more characters to the game. So, at launch, when he added all the... During the development, he added characters such as... He added King K. Rool from Donkey Kong Country. And let me tell you, King K. Rool is one of my favorite characters in the game. He's really powerful... And, uh, they also added Ridley from Metroid. Yeah, and they even added the two Vampire Slayers known as Simon and Richter Belmont from Castlevania. Well, for Simon, he's from Castlevania, and Richter from Castlevania X. Castlevania Rondos of the Blood, which got released on the TurboGrafx-16. And during on November, during in November, we got more characters such as, you know, we chose to add Ken and it's Ken from Street Fighter and Incineroar from Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yeah, and during the games, during in 2018, Sakura just announced the DLC characters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, and they were released in only a few months. In only a few months, they were released. The characters they chose to add, which... And they had the Fighters Pass. But during when Sakura, he added Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant was only available for a limited time. I already have this character, so... On to the Fighters Pass. So they added Joker, which was the DLC character for the game. Released in April, then second off, they added the second DLC character, which was Hero. So, Hero was released in se in the summer of 2019. He was the fifth, four, second DLC character, which he was from Dragon Quest 15. And third DLC character of the game was... Was Banjo Kazooie. He was the third DLC character, which got released on September 3rd, 2019. Then later up, they chose to add Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury. He was released on November. And now, the final worst character in Smash. The worst character in Smash of DLC is they added Byleth, which was horrible. But after with the first Fighters Pass, Sakurai decided to release the second one. Which, in the second one... In the second Fighters Pass, they added Min Min from ARMS. And now recently, Sakurai just added... Sakurai just recently added the characters from Minecraft. Though during the time, Steve from Minecraft and Smash received, the characters from Minecraft received controversy because, firstly, they had to update the state because the state kind of looks like, uh, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get this video taken down. I don't want to get this video taken down. Uh, I'm guessing it's some type of hot dog or something like that. Yeah, sausage. Yep, so, but during the time when the, when the game was still in development, let me tell you what happened. And with their with number first November first of twenty eighteen was very was very awkward when the game came out. It was very awkward when this game It was very awkward. It was very awkward when the game came out, even. 
Sakurai have showed us about how you can get the characters in the game. And for me, I say that this game is considered punishment, actually. Yep. For me, I say that the game is punishment. The reason why I say the game is punishment because, first of all, here's what happens when you start the game. There was an issue when you started the game. Wait, so where did I see them at? Now there was a reason what upset me with the roster. The roster on the other hand, well, eh. But when you started the game, there was an issue. Well, they added the life light, which was very... The world of light, which, you know... Eight character roster. And it turns out, when you start the game, here's what happened. The game was considered, uh... Uh, punishment. Because, first of all... Sorry about that, guys. The game was considered punishment because... Well, I consider it punishment because, first of all, when you started the game, there was an issue. There was an issue when the game was announced. You see, when you started the game, you only had eight characters. Just like the Nintendo 64 game, which only had eight characters. That is actually considered punishment. That's considered punishment, actually. It is actually still... And it's still to this day considered punishment because... Well, because people don't want to waste their time unlocking all eight characters. We should have them already in the game. But we should forget about that issue Sakura decided to add it. Yeah, and anyways, do you know who likes this game? Gamer Dude Productions... Gamer Dude Productions and everyone in the whole wide world. Now, Gamer Dude Productions told me to put, told me to uh, ask me to put a make a salute on the game, and I agree with him. I don't know anyone who hates this game, so I'm gonna leave it be. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is awesome. And so is hmm mm, let me get right now oh yeah and so is spiral reignited trilogy PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale sucks. But anyway, but to anyone who those who likes this game, I respect your opinion. Anyways, end of salute.